If you soak your tomato suckers that you've cut off in water for about a week, you should get visible root hairs that I was just showing there. And that's a sign that it's time to pot them up. So I take my biodegradable grow bags, I fold them down, and I put just a bit of soil in the bottom. Um, the goal is really just to make sure that those first roots are well covered in soil and they stay moist and they keep growing. And you'll see I'm adding eggshells here. Um, my potting mix consists of coconut coir and worm castings and some amendments like blood meal, etc. But I do make a point of adding eggshells when I'm potting up tomatoes because calcium is really important uh, for tomatoes. It helps prevent blossom end rot. Uh, it's good for squash too. And I like to work it in at this stage. Um, it's easy to mix around. I like these bags, they're really forgiving. And it just means that once this is potted and into the soil um, and worms and microbes are working it through, it'll just make sure the calcium is really, you know, part of the soil and really, really available for the plant. So tamp that down. This is really wet and dense, and I can use just a regular ballpoint pen to make a nice hole in it. And because this soil is very damp, it will keep this opening in place and work in that eggshell there. And that hole is important. Um, I don't want these root hairs to break off as I put the tomatoes in. I want to have a nice big opening, slightly bigger than the diameter of the stem. So let me show you these root hairs kind of one more time. This is what I'm trying to protect here um, as I'm putting this into the soil. I don't want to knock off any of those visible white roots. So gently slide it in to that large opening and then I can use these flexible bags to just press on the outside and get a really good seal of damp soil around the stem. And as long as I keep them in very, very damp soil, these roots um, should continue growing and increasing in size and just making sure that the plant is really well rooted. So with these grow bags, I start with just a little bit here. Um, once I can feel that these are anchored and they're in place pretty well, which means they've started to grow their roots, um, I'm adding a little soil now, but I'm going to add a great deal more soil later so that they can continue to set roots all along their stems. So for now, it's just about getting them in here, getting them well tamped in. And then I will bottom water here, uh, just pouring water into the pan. That allows the soil to continuously take up more liquid as it starts to dry out and make sure that these roots are in a wet environment and they'll continue to grow. And then again, in about four or five days, um, I will remove some of these lower leaves, add more soil, roll these bags up and keep them going. But for now, this is the first step. Okay, quick update on our back to Eden uh, technique with the wood chips and compost. I am potting up these tomato suckers um, and I ran out of my potting soil mix in here. It's not totally full. So what I'm going to do is harvest some from this lovely pile of decomposing wood chips. And the whole thing of the back to Eden method is that you just do a big deep pile of wood chips and at the bottom it starts to compose and form really nice soil. And yep, it's working. So here, I don't know if this will show or not, but just as a quick update, um, this is definitely working. We're getting some really nice kind of fine compost happening in the bottom. So I'm gonna dig that up and fill these the rest of the way. And as I was transferring these guys, one, it's really warm, and two, worms. So this is a really good, really good compost pile. And finished product full of compost. So, hope these guys continue to size up and I'll probably put them out in the garden in another week or so.